As part of activities to commemorate Nigeria's centenary celebration, President Goodluck Abela Jonathan entertained questions from journalists bordering on political and economic issues at the presidential media chat. One of the questions was on the last week's decision to suspend Central Bank Governor Malam Sanusi Lamido Sanusi. Mr. Sanusi has just um, gone to court to say you don't have the right to suspend him. Do you have the right? Is there any constitution um, seg section that backs you up to suspend the Central Bank of Nigeria governor? Not a right, but part. part. I understand what Wes is saying. We also read from the papers. Um, the issue of this uh, central bank is quite unfortunate, but well, I mean, from, I will respond based on the issues you raise. You raise the issue of whether, I forget about whether it's good luck, Jonathan, whether the president of Nigeria, by virtue of the constitution of Nigeria, has powers to suspend the governor of CBN. I'll tell you, yes, the president has absolute powers to suspend the CBN. CBN is not even well defined in the Nigerian constitution. If you look at Nigerian constitution, section 153, it talks about executive bodies, like Federal Character Commission, the Civil Service Commission, Independent Military Electoral Commission, the Judicial Service Commission, about 14 of them, the Code of Conduct, these are clearly defined. And so that for the president appoints, but Senate must clear. And for the president to remove anybody, the president must go through the Senate. The CBN, as the number one bank, is not even well defined in the Nigerian constitution. But the CBN law made provision that to appoint the governor of CBN and the executive governor, the governor, the deputy governors, and the uh, uh, non executive directors, the president appoints and sent to Senate. But the presidents have oversight functions over CBN. So if somebody tells you that CBN is a different country, it's not true. Because for the CBN governor to change the color of the matter, the president must approve. And what happens? For the CBN account, because normally when you audit the CBN, you will publish it. After, the, after editing the CBN, uh, for you to be published, the president must approve. That means the president must accept that that other report is right. But Sanusi is still the governor of CBN, and people must know that. And that is why there can never be a substantive governor until the issue is sorted out. Sanusi could come back tomorrow to continue his work. The issue of suspension came in because the CBN Act is somehow anomalous. Just like somebody, we have similar situations to not only CBN, where the CBN governor is also the chairman of the CBN board. The CBN governor is the chief executive of CBN, and at the same time, the chairman of the CBN board. So if there are allegations about the CBN governor, it becomes a problem for you to look into it. And there are issues raised. These are the 2012 audit reports. And for you to look into those issues, we feel that for you to be sure of what you are doing, civilian government can just step aside. So I'm not sure just step aside. So the immediately the board and the financial reporting can sort out of those gray areas. And it does not affect the government it comes back to do his work. But so you cannot now say so you are going to send it to ask powers to suspend. Then maybe in one week or so, if the board and the financial department can sort out the gray area, then we go back to saying, oh, this man is coming back. No, it is when we want to remove the government completely. But assuming the board of CBN and the financial department can look into those gray areas now and say that the infractions are grave enough for Sanusi to leave completely, then I have to go to Senate. No matter the issues they raise, I cannot say I'm firing you. It is Senate that can. So I can place those issues before the Senate. And if the Senate agree with the reports, then they will say, yes, of course you can leave. So the questions bordered on why it took so long for the process. If the president had the constitutional power to carry out this action, and what it means for the international market and the community. People wonder why. Um, 
the office of the president waited this long to take the action it took now, considering the fact that the finance, uh, the financial reporting council uh, report on the audited accounts of the CBN uh, was actually released as far back as May, June 20, 2013. Uh, why it took so long for the president to decide that the CBN governor should step aside for a, a more thorough investigation to be done on that report. Well, of course, it has to do with the how sensitive CBN is. You can even see now that has been done. People raise all kinds of issues. People feel it will even affect the economy, their statements. So when you are dealing with the treasury of a nation, you have to be careful. You have to consult widely. You have to take all the necessary steps to make sure that while asking the CBN government to step aside, it will not affect the economy. Because one little thing, uh, issues bothering them, especially the, uh, the capital market, are quite sensitive. Just when they do can withdraw off of uh, the investment in the capital market and can bring the economy down. So no president will just wake up and take a decision, especially when the central bank is involved, whether suspension or removal. You have to consult, you have to do all what it takes to make sure. Probably I could have even stayed a little longer than now, but when I just realized, in fact, uh, it was Feb February 2012, uh, sorry, February 2013, that CBN governor sent me the report of the 2012 audit, because the audit report was be published in the first quarter of the year. So from that time through April, there has been correspondence to and fro, of course. As uh, normally, even if, I, even if I'm the best, though I'm not an accountant, but as even if I'm the best accountant in Nigeria, there are statutory bodies that are meant to, to do their work. So I have to send to the Financial Reporting Council. And it's their opinion that becomes uh, the key, not the opinion of the president, even if I'm the best uh, editor. So it moves back and forth. The first report that came to me, issues were raised. Then based on issues raised, I raised the query to the CBN governor that from the financial reporting to these, these, these issues, yeah. you need to explain. Of course, the CBN governor now wrote back. It takes time for them to look into those queries, responded to those queries. I sent it back again to the financial reporting council. This is the position from the CBN governor. Do you accept it? It took them time. We are talking about auditing one-year activities of uh, CBN. Then they sent it back to me. In fact, the second one is a raise more uh, so between that period and now, and what led me to even quickly rush to do this now, because we are still even started, I said that the 2013 is all gone, we are already in February, and by now, the 2013, all this report is supposed to be published. But we have not even finished with 2012, and we cannot keep a CBN of the country that 2012, all this report has not has been accepted by the president. In fact, I have to give a provisional approval for them to audit 2013. Because we've not finished with 2012. But if I don't give that provisional approval, 2000, no auditor would have even looked into the activities of CBS for 2013. So I give a provisional approval that even though I've not accepted the audit report of 2012, issues are still there, they have been examined, but still go on with uh, the audit. So now they are finished, the, I think I believe they are finished the audit in 2013. But we'll have to finish with 2012, publish it, and make sure that 2013 is also published before the end of the first quarter of this year, which will end by March. So uh, get to a point that you can no longer delay. So we have to push it no matter and try to see what we can do. And if you look at it, one of the things we have to do to make sure that we stabilize the system is at the same time, we have to even send a name for the new CBN governor to, even though the time is still far, I think it's June before the term of Samosi will end. But just to tell the international community that the succession is already there, is stable. National Assembly is already screening the person that will take over. There's an acting person. So at any time, if they are true with Sadosi, Sadosi could even come back and complete his tenure and end over. So we want to make sure that that succession is to mind. The international community, the investors know that this process, whatever is happening, will not affect the leadership of uh, uh, CBN. And that is, uh, that is a quite a sensitive thing. It is quite sensitive. And you must be careful and you must admit that. And you must handle it with care. And that is what we've just done. Also, on the issue of the prosecution of the central bank governor, if the Financial Reporting Council's report indicts 
Malam Sanusi Lamido Sanusi. Girls prostitute anybody. Yes. No, it's not done that way. Anybody could be accused of anything. Even in normal civil service operations, even when you are suspected for, let us say, fraud, the best they do is to place you on suspension and interdiction. And that matters investigators. At the end of the investigation, why they place you on your suspension and interdiction, that's even in court civil service, is so that you will not stay in that office and frustrate the process of investigation. So government normally places you on interdiction without salary, but if it's a grievous offense, they suspend you without salary, but not sacked. Until when they conclude the investigation, you may go back if you have no case to answer. If you have a case to answer, that is when they prosecute you. These are issues raised by a third party. Financial Reporting Council is not a member of the uh, CBN. So there could be some issues they point out there that probably were the explanations. I'm not saying everything is there. It's incriminating on the CBN or Sarosi. No. Nobody said, has said that. So it will depend on when, that's what I'm saying, that the board of CBN and the Financial Reporting Council will look into those gray areas. And if Sarosi has no case to answer, I will look to execute somebody that has no case to answer. If he has a case to answer, then it will depend on the nature of the case. In the public service, there are some cases that it is not criminal in nature. It is either act of negligence or probably you skip a process you're supposed to follow. You may not be prosecuted. There may be other sanctions, like your indictment or whatever. So everything does not end up with prosecution. Prosecution can only come in if a clear fraud is established. If a clear fraud is established, then we talk about prosecution. But if a fraud is not uh, established, and uh, it's just that somebody, somebody does not uh, follow due process or uh, some other issues that are not clearly fraudulent, you may not necessarily prosecute the person. Even if the person is guilty, you may not necessarily prosecute the person. So Nigerians should wait. It's not just talk about prosecution.